In the arrival of the body of Lady Ezine Jane Udeu Namani. Before the commencement of the church service, we would like to plead with all and sundry. Immediately the body is lying in state. Please, we would not like people to move about. I got you open a corner, to Sinogano. We would like people to settle down in their respective canopies or give way so that everyone will be able to see what event we have today. We also announce the arrival of the chief mourner, the husband of late lady Ezine Jane, Udewo Namani. I am referring to His Excellency the distinguished senator Ken Naman he is here a lot so many senators distinguished senators are here past and present they are here to honor this icon and we shall be transferring the microphone to the Methodist Church Nigeria Diocese of Enugu for the funeral service. The Reverend. Parambulation should cease. And I request that please, security men, please at Akimbo where you are, when we need you, we give you a signal. We are in charge of this service now, and every other directive is to be received from here. Please. The band should cease. The ACNES are there to honor.
Organist, please stop. Please, organist, stop, 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 stop. Please, this is a service that is organized to honor our late mother. And we wouldn't want any embarrassment from anybody. I've asked everybody to retire to your seat. If you don't have a seat, ask the ushers. They find a place for you. People that are requested to be there where the remains of our late mother is should be the business. They have last respect to pay to her before we commence, please. Every other person to your seat. I have yellow card and red card today. People who are going to assist me are close by. If I point at you, I issue you your card. And you remain redundant until we finish. Please, at the service pamphlet, we are going to take the processional hymn and the sentences as we have it at page three. Peace, perfect peace in this dark world of sin. Organist, we sing the first stanza, we do the sentence, and subsequently we go till we get to the end. Please. Organist, please. in me, though he dies yet he shall live and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Stanza 2. Peace perfect peace I told into the world and it is certain that we will carry nothing out. The Lord gave and the Lord are taking it. To my cry, hold not thy peace at my turn. Stands the four. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. The eternal God is thy dwelling place, and underneath are the everlasting arms. Stanza 5. Because I live, you shall live also. Yes. <laughs> 
Whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. Praise the Lord. Please, for purposes of emphasis and clarification, we wouldn't want people to be moving around here till we finish this service. If you have something so serious that will make you to move around, go behind where the motorcade is. Please, don't move across here any longer. Security men, please, I need your assistance. Anybody who disobeys should be kept at a place until we finish. Purpose of gathering. Can we all rise, please? We are gathered in the presence of God Almighty to commend the body of our beloved sister, let us in Nijen, Ude Wunamane, who proved herself a faithful servant of God in words and in deeds into the hands of the Almighty God in faith because Christ himself partook in death and resurrected as human beings our partakers. It is our earnest prayers, therefore, that God will give us the grace to accept the consolation which the Holy Spirit gives. Amen. You may be seated and let us pray. O God and Lord of life, the conqueror of death, our help is every time of trouble. We have come before thee. You are God who does not willingly grieve our And all those
place. You may be seated as we take the scripture reading in Psalm number 90, verse 1 to 17. Please take your seat. Psalm number 90, verse 1. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you have formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn man to destruction and say, Return, you children of men, for a thousand. I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not even as brother others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not precede them which are asleep. For the Lord himself descend from, shall descend from heaven with a shout, with a call of the archangel, and with a trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then, 
we which are alive and remain shall be cut up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Because he lives, I confess tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know, oh, he holds my future. My life is what I live in just because he lives. Amen. The reading is taken from John chapter 14, from verse 1 to 6 and verse 27, on page 10 of the program. Let not your hearts be troubled. Be ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it are not so, I will have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. And where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know. And the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither you go it, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Peace I live with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth. Give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. This is the gospel of Christ. Shall we rise for the Apostles' Creed? May we all rise to reaffirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed as contained at page 11, item 6 of the program. Everybody. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost. The Virgin Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. I call on Evergreen Choir from Onesia to give us their first lyrics as we ask the family that uh, they get prepared for the tributes or biography reading of late mama, please. Evergreen Choir, please. Oh! 
Evergreen, is that your preamble or the lyrics? Have, are you done? You are done. No, they are still standing up. Please, please, in the next three minutes, you are done, please, please. <laughs> This house, O oh Lord, we pray, make it safe by night and day. Lest these walls, so firm and stout, keep in want and the troubles pass. Bless the roof and the chimney. Evergreen Choir. God bless you. The family is expected to come to read the biography of late Mama now. The family is it the first son who is coming please? Okay. If the family is done, the kinsmen are requested to be closer to this place. And the family where Mama was born, the family of honor also should be getting ready. Brothers and sisters in faith, my name is Nabihe Namani, and I'm speaking on behalf of the family of late Lady Ezine Jane Udewo Namani. With heavy hearts, we come together to commemorate the life of late Lady Jane Namani, a remarkable woman who departed from this world on Thursday, May 4th, 2023, at the orthopedic hospital in Enugu following a short illness. Today, we pay tribute to the extraordinary attributes that made her an exceptional wife, mother, mentor, and friend, and celebrate the cherished memories she leaves behind. In a world where people often focus on themselves and their desires, Lady Jane embodied the virtue of selflessness, a quality that scripture reminds us is paramount in loving our neighbors as ourselves. Her actions spoke louder than words, and she set a beautiful example for all of us. Lady Jane was born on October 1st, 
1965 in the city of Port Harcourt into the family of Umu Okowebu family in Umu Nugu Amej Uwanu, Okonanu, Enugu South, local government of Enugu State. Her parents, late Yaro Honor and late Mrs. Margaret Honor, instilled in her the values of unity and religion, which were deeply ingrained in her upbringing. Lady Jane attended Albany Road Primary School for her primary education and completed her secondary education at Anglican Girls Grammar School in Okodano, Enugu. While working at a clinic in Enugu, she met her future husband, Senator Ken Inamani, GCON. Subsequently, Lady Jane pursued a degree in sociology from the esteemed University of Lagos, followed by an MBA in marketing from Enugu State University of Science and Technology Business School in Lagos. Although Lady Jane had immense potential in her career, she made a decision to set aside her own ambition and wholeheartedly devote herself to her children. As a mother, she exemplified diligence, patience, perseverance, surpassing the qualities found in most of her contemporaries. While others sought the limelight and, and a law of public life, Lady Jane focused on raising her children with the well to be well wandered individuals instilling in them strong values, dignity, and a reverent fear of God. She taught them to prioritize God and understand that personal choices rather than circumstances of birth determine success. Her effort bore fruit as all her children graduated from the Yunnan universities and have become responsible contributors to society. In her professional endeavors, Lady Jane established and efficiently ran multiple prosperous businesses here in Nigeria and in the US. Her ventures spanned various industries, including fast-moving consumer goods, real estate, property management, and event planning. In 2016, she was appointed to ASUC's governing council. With a strong conviction in the transformative power of education, Lady Jane wholeheartedly supported and inspired several underprivileged students to strive for higher education. Her unwavering belief echoed the words of Malcolm X, the renowned American civil rights activist who emphasized that education is the passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Lady Jane's dedication to empowering us through education served as a guiding light motivating countless individuals to pursue knowledge and open doors to a brighter future. Lady Jane had a, remark a heart full of kindness and a soul filled with compassion. She was a true friend to many, always ready with a listening ear, comforting words, and a shoulder to lean on. Her presence brought solace to those going through difficult times, and her infectious laughter brought joy to every gathering. She had an incredible ability to make everyone feel valued, loved, accepted, fostering deep connections that lasted a lifetime. Within her community, Lady Jane earned recognition for her philanthropic endeavors. On special occasions such as Mother's Day and Christmas, she generally distributed clothes and foods to widows and women who were less fortunate. Furthermore, she undertook the responsibility of renovating the library at Union Secondary School, which was her husband's alma mater. Not only did she replace the roof, but she also filled the library with a container load of books covering a wide range of subjects. Lady Jane regularly provided meals for students at her own alma mater, Anglican Girls Grammar School. She, she played a significant role in the supervision and construction of a modern dining hall at this school, which was sponsored by members of the Anglican Girls Grammar School Alumni Association. However, her most remarkable achievement in the service of God was leading the extensive renovation of St. John's Methodist Church in Amish Uwani. Personally, taking charge of this project, Lady Jane devoted significant personal effort and resources to furnish the church, provide audiovisual equipment, and construct six bathrooms where there were previously none. Her unwavering commitment and sacrifices had a profound and lasting impact on the lives of numerous individuals. Lady Jane was an active member of Good Hope United Methodist Church in Silver Spring, Maryland, U USA. She was also a prominent member of Women's Fellowship in St. John's Methodist Church, Amechuani, and a lady of John Wellesley Methodist Church. 
To know Lady Jane was to know a woman of virtue, joy, unwavering dedication to relieving her community, leaving her community in a better state than she found it. Found it. Today, we honor her for her remarkable legacy she leaves behind. Lady Jane is survived by her husband, Senator Ken Namani, GCOM, <laughs> along with her sons, Nabihe Namani, Ogona Namani, and Chidera Namani, and her daughter, Amaka Namani. Rest in peace, dear mom. Your love will continue to guide us. Your memory will forever be cherished, and your spirit will live on in our hearts. Nabia Namani, on behalf of the family. Thank you. Uh, please, I call on uh, the kinsmen. You can go back, please. The kinsmen. What is the land? Tribute to late Ezine Jen Naman. It is very difficult standing here to read this tribute of our beloved wife and mommy, Ezine Jen Naman. At this moment, we needed her most in our family. Ezine lived an exemplary life. She was very industrious and hard work in nature, influenced our life positively. She was indeed an epitome of humility. Mommy, it is difficult to come to the times that you are no more, but then we cannot question God. You fought, you fought gallantly to unite our family together, which you achieved. You preached peace and love. You lived and died in it. Mommy, history will always remember you for good for the indelible mark you made in Ugu Namani, Namani Ugu's dynasty. Thank you, our wife and mommy, for reminding us that the present moment is precious and that we should make the most of it by loving fully and living in peace. Keep on resting, mommy, until that glorious morning. Adieu, Ezinne. Adieu, Adieu, Gwejeg. Adieu, Adawek. Adieu, we are cheers, Igwe. Adieu, Mommy Jane and Namani. We love you. Good night, our mommy. See you the resurrection morning. God bless you, sir. Chief Francis Honor, are you around? Chief Francis Honor, are you around here? Or your brother? Who is coming? Chief Francis Honor, is he here? Ndemoro Lady Jane. Okay, he's coming. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Francis Onabo, and I'm here to speak on behalf of uh, the family. Uh, May 4th was one of the worst days of my life. It was the worst day of my life in recent uh, memory. It was a day that we live in infamy in my heart. I spoke with my sister on Wednesday. She was bubbling with life and in high spirit, as usual. No illness no helmet, nothing serious that we knew of. I communicated with her by test on Thursday morning. Thursday night, she was gone. We lost her. We lost a beautiful sister with a beautiful heart, a sister who was a noble person, a noble in, in, in reason, infinite in faculty, an earthly paragon of grace and charm, always sparkling with wit. Such was the irre irreplaceable noble sister we lost. The loss of my sister has put a dent in my faith in life. Over the past few weeks, I have tried to seek for answers as a Christian, a believer, and a faithful. A statement such as, Lord, may your will be done, and there is time for everything, gives me solace. 
I equally understand that we will never know everything there is to know about God's plan for us. But in the natural, the loss is so unbearable that I am tempted to ask, Lord, why did you allow her to go now? Lord, why her? Why here? Why now? Why again? In less than six months after burying my younger brother, Chikado, Lady Ezinejin Jane Udewo Namane is my younger sister. Yes, I will address her in the present tense because she will forever live in our hearts. Married to the love of our life, Senator Ken Namani, God blessed them with four beautiful and intelligent children. Those children and her husband were everything to her. She loved, nurtured, and protected them like a mommy bear in a positive and positive uh, fashion. I can attest to that. She sacrificed so much to stay in the United States with her four little children at the time to nurture and ensure that they completed their high school, undergraduate, and graduate education at a time people expected her to stay back in Nigeria to live the glamorous life of the wife of the Senate president. She shunned all that. Her nuclear family was everything to her. She knew her priorities. She mapped them out and followed those priorities rigorously. When all the children graduated their high school, undergraduate and graduate education, she promptly returned to Nigeria without missing a beat to focus on the job at home in Nigeria. A very industrious woman who understood how to multitask to achieve a near perfect harmony in work family balance. She was a sophisticated, high level businesswoman, both in the United States and here in Nigeria. A real estate de developer, a final year PhD student at ASUT, a council member at ASUT, and a one stop resource advisor for us. At the same time, handling all these complexities and achieving a perfect balance of being a wife and a mother. Our sister was kind to a fault. She touched the life of many people who crossed paths with her. She knew no boundaries, friends and families alike. Her love and generosity trickled down and rippled out. If she were able to help someone, she helped without any expectation to be compensated or rewarded. She would always encourage me to extend a helping hand to the needy if I could. Rather buy uniform for those uh, women group she would recommend. Distri distribute palliative to X, Y, and Z families during festive uh, season, she would suggest. God has a way of rewarding people who do good, she would add, with her unique, loving, calming, and assuring laughter. Who will fill this void for us now? No one. Sister Michi, although no one is perfect, if there were one, you would be that person. You were a pillar in our life. We mourn you today, but we truly celebrate everything you stood for. You were a true Proverb 31 woman. Strength and dignity were your clothing, and you laughed at the time to come. You opened your mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness was on your heart. We will miss you dearly. I don't know how we can get used to living without you, but we will continue to pray that God will give us the strength and show us the way. Thank you. Thank you, sir, so much. We thank you so much. Please, we have in this service representative of the President of Federal Republic of Nigeria, Incidentally, he is the Senate President of Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Dr. Goswell Akbabio. He is in this service, and I request that he will come to bring his condolences to this family before we call the church to wrap up this aspect of our service today as we go on. Your Excellency, sir, the Senate President of Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Goswell Akbabio. Please, can we have you here?
Tschüss. Of Enugu State, Parisa Peter Mbra, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Enugu State, Barista Ifai Osai, Your Excellency, former Governor, former Minority Leader, and also the Secretary to Government of the Federation, my dear brother, Distinguished Senator George Akume, very strong entourage of Mr. President, President Asuaju Bola Ahmed Tunibu, this year around. Many former governors that are here present, including Right Honorable Ifai Ugwain, CON, my dear brother Rocha Sokorocha, Senator David Romai, and of course, a large entourage of the distinguished senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, both serving and past, including the senator representing the bereaved family here, the senior senator Kerfin. Let me just point out that on behalf of the wives of the distinguished senators serving and uh, past, my dear wife is here, a daughter of the soil, Her Excellency Onoma Goswil Akwabio, who herself is from Enugu State, and she's also grieving. We have many former Senate presidents, and I will just mention one of them, my brother Pius Ayim, GCON, former Senate president. Let me I'm here leading two delegations. One is that of His Excellency, our dear President, President Bola Ahmed Tunibu. And if you look at the entourage, you'll see so many of his special advisors, one of whom is a special advisor on security, our dear brother, Nuhuri Badu. Very proud of you. Senator Sani Musa, Professor Williams, and uh, of course the Deputy Speaker is here, and others. So I'll just read the condolence of Mr. President. To distinguished Senator Ken Namani and his dear family and the church. It was with immense sadness that I learned of the demise of your beloved wife, Mrs. Jen Namani. There is no doubt that her loss is a monumental one for you and the entire Namani family. The enviable milestones you have achieved in your political career and even in private businesses could not have been possible without the psychological and emotional support of a dutiful and loving wife like late Jen Namani. Even though she died at the very young age of 58, hers is an apt vindication of the adage that it is not how long one lives, but how well that matters. We surely continue to inspire fond memories in the hearts of those who loved her and whose lives she touched. As her remains are buried today, I pray that God Almighty grant you the children and every member of the family strength and fortitude to bear the loss and to carry on without her. I pray that her soul rests in eternal peace with our creator. Amen. This is the voice of Senator Gosfield Akbabio, but the words of His Excellency, 
the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Asuaju Bola Ahmed Chinibu Chisiakwa. May as well rest in proper peace. So I have also the condolence from the Senate with my brother, distinguished senators. The President's condolence to Pasisti. We will present that to Senator Ken Namani and the family. And we are praying that God Almighty will lead her to heaven. And she will turn into an angel to look after and continue to look after the very young children and their entire family. May I still rest in perfect peace. All right, please. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brass Band. Brass Band. Brass Band is okay. Brass Band, it is okay. is perpetual and in performing till we finish. To have disobeyed my instruction, you are under perpetual uh, injunction. Don't perform again. Please, the church has to come. See what? Don't speak English here. What the word is the lamb. Hallelujah. Because now has St. John's Methodist Church at the true one. I could be a new group now. One nine, why? Bully the gen and a man, a bull, men by. I am out and a hano, no, no. Man, Bob and Hannah Taquara on a base so I in a church service. I in a men church. Nke can't keep on where I need church. I Obe Buye, I na hook away, na dear, na church, a huyen in an air, Hunandan, a roar, and a roar or homer. In case of all Zobna, one I be so at such a chai, this woman why I be at such a church no total. Because Dick is no nanny, Luju, Luaya, because Kaha Cassiobi, Harry, you quack what they can't deny with Huli, like a man, no more, no da, Catuas Chineca, you be. What the word is the lamp. Thank you. Biko, the Pilgrim Squire is expected to move to the stage and give us your rendition. Leave preamble, please. Move to the stage for your lyrics now. The Pilgrim Squire, please. Move to the stage. We have microphone. There are mic stands, please. Move very quickly.
Pilgrim Squire, please. Start your lyrics now. Please, please, please. Don't waste for that time.
The Green Squire, may God bless you so much. Please, at this time, we shall prepare our hearts and our minds. I will request all cameramen to go and stand at a point. There should be no videoing or moving around at this time because this is the climax of why we are here today. Please, God is going to use his son to speak to us. At the right time, I will tell us more about him. The hymn is numbered SS and S number 901 at page 12 of the service pamphlet. We are going to sing this hymn as we prepare our hearts to hear from the Lord.
of bishops, but I will leave it for the protocol you need to introduce because we need to be fast with this message. Brothers and sisters in Christ, first let us thank God for the opportunity to meet, to hear his word. Usually, times of mourning like the one we have today affords us opportunity for deep reflection, reflection as to what life is, what life is all about. No wonder the scriptures say it is better to go to the house of mourning than to the house of feasting. Because in the house of mourning, there's sober reflection that gives us wisdom. But in the house of feasting, we are overtaken by merriment, and we do so many foolish things. And so, I will invite you to bow your heads to God in prayers before I go to the scriptures. But let me not forget to bring to the chief man, Saken Namani, the greetings of his eminences. I got the phone call of His Eminence on Lama Kinde this morning from London asking me to bring his greetings to Saken Namani and family. Yesterday, I had also conveyed the greetings of the immediate past prelate, His Eminence Dr. S.C.K. Uche, and the felicitations of the present prelate. Dr. Oliver Ale Abba. Please, on behalf of all these servants of God and everyone here, accept the condolences, the heartfelt condolences of everyone on the demise of our mother and our sister, Lady Namani. Let us all pray. Almighty God, our dear Heavenly Father, we ask the gift of your spirit in full measure to speak your word. And we pray that the hearts of all who are here gathered will be open to receive these words. That God today will mark the salvation of so many souls and the kingdom of heaven will be populated and the kingdom of darkness will be depopulated. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. James chapter 4, 
verse 13 to verse 17. Now, listen. You who say today or tomorrow we will go to this or that city, we will spend a year there, carry on business, and make money. Why do you not even know what will happen tomorrow? What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or do that. As it is, you boast in your arrogant schemes. All such boastings is evil. If anyone then knows the good that they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin to them. I want to speak on that question that James asked. What is your life? What is your life? Philosophers over the ages have tried so much to define the meaning of life without success. We have heard so much music on the essence of life, have had so much movies on the meaning of life. Scientists, especially medical scientists, have tried so much to fathom the meaning of life. When exactly does life begin? They have not been able to do this. One thing that God has hidden from men is life and death. The anti abortionist propagandists pro, pro, have tried so much to say that life comes immediately on the fertilization of the fetus. Others say life comes after three months of fertilization. Yet nobody, none of them, is really sure when life begins. When is it that God puts life into the womb of the woman? When does he turn the blood in the woman's stomach, womb, into a baby, a living soul? That has been a difficult thing to understand. And James said, what is your life? Many of us, we see life as the pursuit of wealth. As long as we have money, we are living a good life. And we do all sorts of terrible things to get money. Today, in this country, the quest for money has become the root of all forms of evil. The quest for money has turned this nation upside down. Men and women go about their chores daily just to make money. They think that life is about making as much money as you can. This nation has been turned upside down by those who go about wanting to make money by all means. They kill, they maim, they, they do all sorts of terrible things. Kidnappings, armed robbery, stealing, in order to make money. And what do I say? I'm sure that this is a congregation of mostly politicians. Our politicians have done terrible things in the quest for money. Is it not in this country that men take the money that belongs to the public, embezzle them, and leave 200 and 20 million Nigerians in Spano. Only a very few of them have this money. The gap between the rich and the poor is so much that the void is too great. 
Is it not because of money that everybody is going after all forms of ritual murder, all forms of terrible things that you cannot hear and your ear will be still? People think that money is the essence of life. But alas, many of us who have touched money now know that money is not the essence of life. And now they turn to power. They think that power is the meaning of life. If I have money, it's not enough. Therefore, let me go for power. If I have power and I'm able to move people up and down, other men to go and they go, others to come and they come, then my life is made. In search for power, terrible things have happened. Our elections are rigged. The will of the masses are subverted. And there I say, men and women are killed on daily basis. Is it not at the precincts of this village, Ame Chokunano, that eight men were shot dead and burnt inside their cars because of the quest for power? Most of our politicians have blood dripping in their hands. Dripping from their hands, and as they say to you, one of, the only time they have remorse is the, their first killing. After the initial killing, the other killings don't matter to them anymore. But can I say to you that the blood of Abel will continue to speak against Cain. Whoever you are and you kill for power, be sure that those bloods you shed, they will continue to murmur against you, against your children, and against your children's children. Other people think that life is about, is about the pursuit of happiness. Happiness, people think, is the reason for, life, for living. Unfortunately, they do all sorts of things to be happy. They call it fun. They go about eating, drinking, doing all sorts of inconceivable things. Last week, a, a bunch of married women trended in social media. These women were married women who went out to catch fun. What did they do? They had this wine they, they call uh, La Mota Paroti. And these women turned it into such a dirty uh, meeting and says it's called La Mota Paroto. And they, and they were saying this thing in the presence of their little daughters and sons. Our, our women are now so terribly corrupt. And they call it fun. People go about doing inconceivable things to catch happiness. Unfortunately, they do not have real happiness. Because they will make themselves tipsy. And thereafter, they go back home. Their problems will come back again. Their families are destroyed. Their marriages are destroyed. And they go back home being worse than they left home. Now, if you, if you go away to drink and catch fun outside when you have a, 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 a burning family, you only come back again to the same bad family. So what is life for you? Others think it is being uh, popular. Oh, how these people they call uh, stars go about doing all sorts of things. Whether it is in the soccer arena or in... Uh, or the boxers, or the, the wrestlers, you see what they, they just want to be stars, to be known. They think that life consists of being known, that you are known throughout the world. You are a world star. But unfortunately, life is not about being a star. I can remember that lots of our stars today are living in depression. A lot of our stars are depressed. They try to seek power, to seek uh, popularity and fame, and they end up uh, being depressed because they decide, they discover that they cannot uh, make any happiness out of being popular. So what is life for you? This question that James asked, 
is one I will try to help us answer. And then I will come down this stage. Number one, life is God's breath in you. Genesis told us about how man was made. Man was made from the dust. And then God breathed into man the, his breath through his nostrils. And man became a living soul. Now, it means that if you remove the breath of God in man, he is a heap of sand. He is a heap of dust. No wonder the priests say dust to dust, ashes to ashes. Because that is all we are. Unless there is the life of God in us. And there I say to you, and I want you to listen clearly. James said, your life is a mist. What is a mist? It's a vapor. Women who cook, listen to me. When you open your pot, you see a vapor. That vapor that comes out and finally disappears. Where do you think it is? Do you think that that vapor is just gone? No, it empties itself into the outer space. And because it is, it is, it, that becomes infinitesimal, you will not see it again. But that vapor is still there. The same thing happens to us. Listen to me, if you die today, your spirit goes out to meet the owner. It's true that you are not seen anymore, but your life has gone back to be with the maker. And your life will either go back to God who made it, if you can really account for the way you lived, or you can be sure that your life is heading for abyss, for hell. And there I say to you that heaven and hell, they are real. Number two, life is a thrust. What is a thrust? Something given to you to look after. And thereafter, you account for it. Listen to me, brethren. Every one of us will give account of our lives to God who gave it to us. What will you say to God when he calls you back? What kind of account will you give? How many of us will stand proudly before God and say that he has... He, can give a good account of his life to God. What is your life? Life is not the pursuit of wealth. It is not the acquisition of power. It is not the pursuit of happiness. It is not even the possibility of having a good family. Some people who pursue living for their children and living for, for their relations, sometimes those people die and they are left depressed. So, you must answer this question, what is your life? I want to tell you a, simple, a small story this afternoon. In 2004, I was at Ozuakoli serving as a bishop. We finished building and we were to, decorate, to dedicate that uh, cathedral. And all the bishops, Methodist bishops in Nigeria, they were there because we had bishops' council. And all of them were there. The prelate uh, Emeritus Mban was leading the team of bishops. And I was the chief host. I decided to go and do a checkup to be sure that everything was ready when the bishops were praying to do uh, the procession into the cathedral for the dedication. Unknown to me, there was a man who was on top of the pinnacle of that cathedral. I was trying to lose the last uh, wood they used to do the uh, scaffold. And on my approaching the door of the cathedral, that wood left that uh, tower and came straight on me, knocked me down. And I fell down and it cut off my leg for three good years. I was not present in the dedication of that cathedral. And for three years, I did not return to that cathedral. 
That week, a man came from America. He was building a house in, uh, within, between Ozakoli and Omaha. And he decided to pay a visit, surprise visit, to the workers at site. He didn't tell anybody who was coming. He drove his car quietly and came and packed. Wanted to go and see the workers to know whether they were playing through and see or they were tr truly walking. As he was going through the house, a man, a carpenter who was uh, doing the roofing, allowed one of the woods came down and he came straight on the head of that man and he died instantly. And they did not know that anybody was dead. It was when they finished walking, they came down and saw an ogre's car. And they were shouting, ah, ogre, you came, you didn't, you didn't tell us you are here. The ogre did not answer. They went around to check, and ogre was lying dead in that house. That same week that I was almost killed. Brethren, I went back home and started thinking, what is this life for me? It means my life was just as simple as a piece of wood dropping from the, from the tower and hitting me and killing me. It means my life is just as, as, as simple as leaving my colleagues on procession only to come out to die. Brethren, let us just think, what do you think your life is? This lady lying down here had all the opportunity to go to Germany for a simple procedure. A simple procedure, my own old mother 80-year-old woman came to Enugu here and said, I have a small growth in my hand. I said, go to Amechi. Amechi here. Uh, because we have our doc doctor here, um, Dr. Emeka. I said, go and remove, remove it. She went, came here, removed it, and she's well till today. But this simple procedure, which we have been done anywhere in the world, brothers and sisters, that is the wife of the Senate president, the former Senate president, lying down in that casket, lifeless and dead. All you see us doing, all these this, uh, beautiful canopies and decorations we are doing, she does not know about them. She has nothing to do with them. We are only celebrating ourselves. We are not celebrating the, the dead. We celebrate the living. And I say to you, do you know that your life is as a mist? That you can physically be alive today and tomorrow you are dead. And if you die after this message, would you go back to heaven and give account to God and say that you are coming home joyfully as one giving account of his or her life? Or are you going to go home? And while we are rejoicing here that a good man is dead, a good man has gone home, you are roasting in hell. What? Is your life. James said something before he asked this question. He said, you people who go every time saying, we'll go here, we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll make money, we'll marry, we'll buy a car. We'll... Do you ever say to yourself, if God permits, do you not know that your life is a mist? You can possibly go in and tomorrow you are dead. One man in scripture in Luke chapter 12, that man made so much money. And because he made so much money, he said to himself, I am going to expand my bank. I'm going to put, make sure my, I, my bank accounts are all properly set. My bank, I want to fill it with goods. And I will say to, my, to myself, my heart, relax, rest, eat. Drink, you have a lot for you, stored up for many years. And he did not say, if God permits. And Jesus said that day, that night, his life was taken from him. And the question was asked, all that he packed, who is he leaving it for? Who is that man going to leave all that money for? Brethren, I have come to know that more than 80% of the wealth we make in this world, we leave it and die. Imagine an, a 70-year-old man stealing money at Asorok. Imagine, imagine a 65-year-old man stealing money in government house. What are you using this money to do? 
Brethren, do you know that one billion means one million naira into one million times? And one man will take it away and take more than 20, 70, 100, 200 billion and go home. And what do you do with this money? And most of, most of you cannot even drink wine anymore. Doctors have consigned you to drinking water only. They give you wine you cannot drink. They give you food you cannot eat. Because they say if you drink wine, you will have diabetes. If you eat food, you are going to die. Why are you still packing this money? What are we doing with this money? We are impoverishing the, the poor people. Every, you see, the greatest thing that, that gives me pain, you will look at the house, beautiful house of a politician, and beside him will be a, an old woman living in a touched house. What is your life? Go and look at the house of Mobutu Sese Seko. He, he, that place is, he, he, he built his house in a whole village, one man. Built a whole village as his, as his, as his uh, house. And today, all those buildings, all of them, not one left, they are now a rubble of, a heap of rubbles, all, all occupied by uh, mosquitoes and lizards and wargicos and all sorts of things. Why are you packing this money? What is your life? Let me read something for you. Jeremiah 17, verse 11. Jeremiah 17, verse 11. The Bible said, Like a partridge that hatches eggs he did not lay, are those who gain riches by unjust means. When their lives are half gone, their riches will desert them. And in the end, they will prove to be fools. There is this animal called a partridge. It does not lay eggs, but it goes to hatch other eggs, other people's eggs. That is the life of our politicians. You have no real means of livelihood. But you are packing the money of the people. You are a partridge. The Bible says you only poach upon the eggs of the masses. And you hatch them. But that half your life... Your wealth will desert you. Go and look at, at, at those who are no, who were in politics and are, are, are no longer there. They turn to become so poor. You need to wonder all the money they packed. Couldn't they have saved it for some time? But it would not up to a year or two years. They become they become appalling. You look at them and begin to wonder what is their life, brothers and sisters. The children you are packing this money for, they are not even ready. Some of them who are overseas are not ready to come home. They see your, the buildings you are building and they will think, what is this man doing here? They think we are going to come back to this country because of a, a, a block of buildings. What are we doing with these things? And it is happening to all of us everywhere. And yet, we do not learn. We do not learn. People are suffering under us. The time has come for us to think about our lives. If you do not think about life, then you are a fool because you will only make money and very soon that money will desert you and you will go into hell. Psalm 103 verse uh, 14 and 15 said that our life is like a flower. flower. When you, early in the morning, you see your life blossoming. But when the sun comes, all of them wither. Look around you. See those beautiful women sitting around you. Brethren, in the next 10 years, they will become old, haggard women. See all these young men who are, who are moving with pomp and pageant to their bouncers. In the next 30 years, they will be walking bent. You think that life is all about this acquisition. This is your life as a young person. Age is coming. Most of us who were strong when we were very, very young, now we are very old. And we are struggling with life. We are, every day, we are popping our fingers, checking for diabetes, checking for high blood pressure. What is your life? What is your life? If you don't ever think about life, brethren, I'm, I'm sorry you are going to die a miserable death because you are certainly going to go to hell. Psalm 39, verse 5 to verse, verse 6. 
Psalm 39, 5 and 6. He says something you need to hear. You have made my days a mere hand breath. The span of my years is as nothing before you. Everyone is a breath. Even those who seem secure. Surely, everyone goes around like a mere phantom. In vain, they rush about, heaping up wealth for themselves, without knowing whose it will finally be to take. <laughs> but most of us, we won't think our children will take our money. Unfortunately, we die and uh, our money is taken by Omona, Omona, who hates us when we are alive. Brothers who, who were our enemies when we are alive, they will come against your children and against your wife and they will take everything away. And it means you have all labored for nothing. You've labored to please your enemies. The second thing you need to do is think, where, who do you give, do you apportion your success to? Oh, see how, how far I have gone in life. I was born a, in, from a poor family, but see how far I have gone. The house I have built, the car I have bought, the children I have, I have, the children I have given birth to. See how people are following me. And you never stop to think that those things are a gift from the Lord. James was saying, please, try to give God credit for what you have been able to acquire or to attain. Because it is only God that has given you this grace. Don't think it is of your own power. If not, I should have thought that those who should have been the richest will have been these people carrying rod. Because they work very hard. You know, you go to the, the, the building material market and you see young men carrying rod. Uzo, uzo. They will be moving with heavy chest. Yet, they don't have money to eat. So you don't acquire wealth by even hard work, it is God that gives it to you. There are people who are more intelligent, more enterprising, more industrious than yourself, who are still living in penury. And God has blessed you. And you think it's about your skill, it's about your wisdom, it's about all you are. Brothers and sisters, it is not. Give God the credit. The last thing that James said, which I'll say to you, and I'll stop, is that James said, it is the greatest sin for you as an individual to see the good you should do now and you will not do it. It is the greatest sin for you to see the good you should do and you will not do it. The people you should help and you will not help them. Those widows you should help, you will not help them. Those offers you should help, you will not help them. Those things you should do for your community and you are not doing it. Those things you should do for the church. These days, the church is being turned into a community of uh, uh, beggars who have to go to ask for everything before the big men will come to church once in a, in a year or two, maybe during Christmas or Easter. And they will come and give one donation and go home and think they are making their way to heaven. You are not making your way to heaven, my brother. For what? For that uh, Easter and Christmas donation will not take you anywhere. Your daily living should be lived for God. Your daily life should be for God, for your maker. Do the best you can when you can. When, while you, don't make this money, put them in a can, cover your can, sit on the can, and you see you are getting old and you're still packing this money in your can. Brothers and sisters, it is enough, it is time to think, what is your life? If life is God's breath, then the question is, is God living in you? Many of us are no longer, the life of God has left us. What we just have is a mere breath. We need to know that if we don't have Jesus in our lives, if the life of God is not in us, then you are a moving corpse. You are a moving heap of sand. And I, say, I just say to you, think about your life today. Have you, do you have need to make peace with God today? Do it now, not tomorrow. Can I tell you, somebody will die after the service tonight. 
somewhere, somehow, somewhere somebody will die. And you don't know that it is going to be you. Men will die. It is God's way of bringing his children back. It is not new. But the question is, if it is you who will die, where will your soul go to? That is the question that the church is asking. We have so much these days going for people. They have time for everything. Time for making money. Time for sports. Time for all sorts of things. But what time do you have for your maker? If you do not have time for God, then take this moment to reflect that if you die without God, you are heading Without you, it's nothing. All these things you see are vanity upon vanity. All of them is vanity. I do pursue vanity instead of pursuing reality. Jesus, sorry, sorry, you sorry. Really reality that you can come after, and you can be sure that if you die today, you have hope for eternity. Can we rise up and pray? Let us pray. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to the precious just one question our father have asked you can you make peace with Jesus heaven is real hell is real if you miss heaven you will not miss hell talk to Jesus talk to your father Ask Jesus to come into your heart. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord. To the precious living sun, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou was died. Draw me nearer, nearer, nearer. Blessed Lord, to the precious living side. Lord, we return all thanks to you, for at all time, your purpose for humanity will be revealed. Once again, it has pleased you in this season to bring forth your word. In a very simple manner. Thank you for opening our eyes to understand what our lives are. Lord, we are nothing outside you. You are our Lord. You are our King. You are our Maker. All we are is in you. Thank you for exposing us to this truth. Thank you for your grace that is ever present at all times. Thank you for redirecting our hearts to choose that which is right. As many who are returning genuinely, Lord, we pray that you inscribe your name in their hearts. 
Let the name of Jesus be lifted in our lives. Let the name of Jesus be lifted in our families. Let the name of Jesus be lifted over our land. Let the name of Jesus be lifted in our political system. Let the name of Jesus be found everywhere. In the name of Jesus. Accept our services, O oh Lord. Help us to become that which you have called us to be. That by your grace, we will represent you here on earth. Thank you for our Father. Through him, you have brought forth your world. Continue to strengthen him. And your name alone will be glorified. For in Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. You may be seated. Please, I request the Royal Choir of uh, Atoeze to perform now. As they are performing, the ushers are going to help us with offering plates or boxes located at strategic places such that after the rendition of Royal Choir of Atoeze, who take offering for the family. Please, Ato is a choir.
I want ushers to bring offering plates. Do we have any within this arena? Ushers. Do we have a Thank you so much. Please, I have said, ushers that are within this arena, do we have offering plates? Or even cellophane, whatever. Do we have such? We don't have. Okay. Okay, now listen. Because we don't have offering plates, we are going to, wherever you are, I want to designate some people, like some of us who are here, you come here, you put your offering. Those of you that are there in your front and all that, please, we are to do this within the next three minutes, such that we will be tidying up in this program. The Evergreen Choir, sir, the Evergreen Choir is to help us there are baskets. Let's have them now. The are using to... Where are, hey, we have something now. Yes. We have baskets. The ushers that are using baskets in sharing. Please release the baskets. Please. The evergreen choir, you are going to lead us as people will come from their seats to go to the closest but okay, the band. Okay, please. Evergreen, I will call you later. Uh, the band is to lead us. Let's take our offerings, please. And please, the women's fellowship, you know what you ought to do just after now. Please, with the business. The band. We don't have life band, so you can come out and give your offering. We don't have life band. Go on. Everybody come and give your offering so that we conclude this service. The women's fellowship and the business, go and play your role. All these people who are behind here, please, can you come out to give your offerings, please?
Gondi is in the Nagana Kiri, and Andy Women's Fellowship. Can they make where they can a guapo and they royal choir can they do in the Mamma in the Sin and the Women's Fellowship? Can I can I hear it? No man, Allah, because you have one, I got Biko, Biko, Biko.
Thank you so much. The time allotted to you has elapsed. You can move back to sit down now, please. Thank you. group to revolve around this place. Please, 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 go and sit down. We are against time. One day is the lamb. Please, why? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Biko, please, we want to call the immediate family to come to this place. We are going to pray for them. After the prayer, His Excellency Senator Dr. Ken Namani is going to uh, give vote of thanks and to thank everybody before we take the closing formalities as we are concluding. Please, choir one, Evergreen, give us lyrics as the family will march down to this place. Please. Bishops are our Father and our Lord, Bishop Doctor Onubogo, who is going to pray for the families. Father, we thank you for a time like this. 
for the gathering of your people, the families, the in-laws, the church universal. We are grateful. For we know your word. But in all situations, we give you thanks and we give you praise. Based on that, we lift up the Namani family before you. We place them before you based on the word that we had this day. Where is your life? We stand on that walk to declare that our life is hid in Christ and in you, our Father. That from now on, this family will march on in Jesus' name. Every pain and everything that is organized by the evil one to affect you for tears, for shame is canceled in the name of Jesus Christ. We jointly pray that joy and peace, long life and prosperity, celebration in you will take over every aspect of this family. We thank you for the head of this family. We thank you for his life and his impact to us all and to this nation and beyond. We thank you also for the life spent by the one we celebrate. We as a church jointly say thank you Jesus for what you have done. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face and look upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you the comfort that he alone can give. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The chief monarch alone will remain behind. Other family members can return to their seats. Okay. Okay. I don't need this. Okay, you don't need it. Your Excellencies, the Governor of Enugu State, the former governors still around, members of National Assembly, the men of God, the bishops, archbishops, quite a number of them here. My very good friends, I'm afraid that if I start calling names and I miss any name, they might think that I, I don't take them seriously. So I classify them as friends, but there are a few of them I would like to mention who have played a very tremendous role in this uh, moment of uh, bereavement. Let me start by thanking our bishop, an Archbishop of Methodist Archbishop of uh, Enugu. But more importantly, the President of Nigeria, Aswaji Dola Ahmed, GS, GSFR, 
DCFR, who has sent a high-powered delegation led by the newly elected Senate President as Chairman of the National Assembly, Goswila Babio. He came with a number of uh, representatives of Mr. President, including the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, Distinguished Senator George Akume, and a special advisor on national security matters, Nuhuri Badu of the EFCC firm. The other dignitaries representing the federal government, I remain eternally grateful to the president of Nigeria for deeming it necessary to, to still recognize me for more than 20 years I left office looks I, I still remain relevant in the national public tremendous work they were at home last night during the service of songs our bishop was at his best and uh, today he has continued to show the same uh, love for my family and I thank him very dearly so please, my good friends who have come from very far away, uh, uh, pardon me, forgive me for not going to mention your names individually. Our high chiefs, our Igwe's all over from Kano land and beyond. We remain eternally grateful to all of you for those who have contributed in a very serious manner in organizing this funeral uh, service. The immediate past speaker of Enugu State House of Assembly and his co-chairman, Senator Colin Sundo, raised up a very powerful committees and subcommittees who did this wonderful work here. Some of you who are not around for the service of songs yesterday, uh, they did a marvelous work, uh, something unique, something we have not seen in recent times in this part of Nigeria. So my family and I and my in-laws say thank you to our bishops. Uh, Bishop Chukuma smiling at me. I think he's satisfied with what I have said so far. I don't know if he wants me to continue. <laughs> so please, I have quick announcements to make. And that is to say, wherever you are seated, apart from the men of God, please remain there. You will be served on your table. There is no need for random movement. Just remain where you are. We are ready to uh, say thank you to you people, to serve you uh, as much as possible. And we have enough time to do that. There will be no excuse. Anything we can afford to give you, please, is given in good spirit. It's only the family members uh, that will follow me to go and pay their last respect to my dear wife. Others are expected to remain where they are, please. And the entertainment will follow immediately. The table serves as the table will have given you if you are in a restaurant. Just remain where you are, you'll be served. And show a, a little bit of patience. Don't rush over it. Every person will be reached. We have hired the best here in Enugu to attend to our guests. So please show some little bit of patience. I thank you very much for the audience. Thank you. Forgive me if I have not mentioned you by name. Thank you very much, Mr. Bishop. Moderator, go ahead. Uh, please, as the family members will retire to where they were sitting before, I want to make the following announcements. Please, the person that God used to bring his word to us, who incidentally is the presiding archbishop in this service is 
are their father in the Lord, whom God had used in several places during his sermon, he told us that he had been at Uzuakoli. He was also a bishop at Aba, and here at Enugu, God had used him immensely. We have here this afternoon the most senior archbishop in Methodist Church, Nigeria. I'm not saying in Enugu, in Methodist Church, Nigeria, a member of Conclave of our Libo Development Union, and their father in the Lord with the wife, His Grace, the Most Reverend Barrister C.N. Ede, he is the presiding Archbishop in this service. Your Grace, you are most welcome. I will request the Archbishop to kindly and briefly introduce these other bishops before we take the closing hymn. What is a lamb? Uh, please, we have uh, an array of ministers here, and um, for want of time, we want to leave here in the next 10 minutes. Let me introduce our Father in the Lord, uh, the Anglican Archbishop of Enugu, the Archbishop of Enugu Ecclesiastical Province, um, Professor, Most Reverend Professor E. O. Chukuma O. O. N. You're welcome. We have the Catholic Bishop of Nsoka, very amiable, uh, handsome gentleman, uh, the Right Reverend Igwebike Ona. You're welcome. We have the Bishop, Methodist Bishop of Akebo Gwaniri, who uh, brought us the word yesterday, the Right Reverend John Oji. You're welcome. We have the Bishop of Newe Diocese. Methodist Church Nigeria, the Right Reverend Emmanuel Naji. We have among us other bishops here. Uh, my brother, the Right Reverend Godwin Naji, is the presiding bishop. Uh, he's the son of the soil of uh, Revival Time Ministry. He's here. And Father, who prayed for the family, is a, is a father of the state and the father of Pentecostalism in Enugu here. He is uh, Bishop Dr. Ubi Onobogo. Are you O O N or G C F R? C O N. We have the number one Christian in the state, the chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria. Um, he's an ambassador, he's a reverend, Reverend Ambassador Emmanuel Ede. Uh, it's my brother. Uh, we have uh, the uh, Khan Chairman for Inugu South, uh, Reverend I.K. Aniabo. Welcome. We have so many people here who are ministers. Please, I will, because of time, um, we have here Professor, Professor Nebo is my president uh, for Nzuku Munna. Uh, Professor Nebo, you're welcome. And uh, we have the Bishop of Okunano represented by the Son Secretary, uh, my own son, uh, Benson Mwobo, the Reverend. Please, every other minister, all protocols of that, please. We don't have so much time, but you are, you are welcome to this service, and we thank you. All ministers will please retire to the house of the... Okay, to St. John's Church. All ministers here, please retire to St. John's Church. All bishops retire to the Archbishop's house. I don't know how you do it, but I live at uh, A.T. Agbani Road. Um, I don't know how you managed to come there before you go, but I, I beg you to come and see my house. You know my house. Please, I beg all of you. Thank you. Please, after now, the, bish, the Archbishop is going to lead the bishops for the interment. We wouldn't want crowd at that place. The bishops and the immediate family as we've been told, stay where you are for entertainment. Now, the Archbishop is going to lead in the commendation. After now, we are recessing from here. After the recession, other announcements can go on, please.
I have said that we don't need crowd at the House of His Excellency for the internment. The minister, the archbishop, is going to lead a team of ministers that will be there with the family members. Every other person stay where you are. That's the instruction. But adventure, you insist on coming. If you go there, you are not allowed, you'll come back. His Excellency will be coming back here to see you, please. take the first stanza of that hymn, When Peace Like a River Attended My Way. Let us take that first verse again before we pray. When peace like a river attended my way When sorrows like sea billows roll Whatever my Lord Thou hast taught me to say, It is well, it is well with my own. It is well, it is well with my soul, with my soul. It is well, it is well. Let us all pray. Almighty God, we praise you that we are made in your own image and likeness. We thank you for the life of your servant, our mother and wife, Lady Ezine Jane Udewo Namani, and for the love and mercy she received from you and showed among us. Rejoice in your precious promises to all your servants living and departed, that we shall rise again to be with Jesus. We ask that at the last we may come with him to share in your glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us commend Lady Ezine Jen Udewo Namani into the hands of God. Into your hands, O oh God, and your merciful keeping, we commend your servant, late Ezine Jane Namani. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the joy of everlasting peace, and into the gracious company of, of the saints in light through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, Ezine Jane Namani, go in peace. In the name of God who created you, and gave you to us as a blessing for this generation. Go in peace. In the name of Jesus who died for you and gave his life for you, that you may be saved. Go in peace. In the name of the Holy Spirit who is a seal on your salvation. Go in peace. And now the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, be with you on your journey. And be with all those you have left behind. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we take the recessional hymn, the ministers will move from here. The rest are please requested to stay behind. The family and the ministers only shall move from here to the graveside, please. Please, we wouldn't want the brass band people to delay us. Please, this movement should be swift, please. Recessional hymn is at page 15. 
fading away like the stars of the morning. With this, the ministers will be recessing. The brass band is, your band is lifted. If you misbehave again, I ban you again. Excellency, the president that sent the president of the Senate, the deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, His Excellency, the governor of Inugu State, has been an amazing host. 
We want to thank His Excellency the Governor of Kwara State and the current Chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, His Excellency Abdurrahman Abdurrahzak, who also came here, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Excellencies, Deputy Governors that are here, and we have a legion from the National Assembly, Senators, House members serving and retired or former. I'd like to also welcome here the Vice Admiral Anwar Zubeiru Gambo, the Chief of Naval Staff represented our Royal Fathers, Special Advisors at the federal and state level, the clergy, Chairman of local government, heads of tertiary institutions, captains of industry, distinguished guests. I welcome all of you. His Excellency Dr. Kenny Namani will be coming back here to interact and say thank you to all of you. And like he said in his vote of thanks, remain under your canopy. You'll be served where you are. We say thank you to Right Honorable Ifan Yugwai, His Excellency, the former Governor of Inigo State. Thank you. He's been here virtually all day. So remain under your canopy. You'll be served. I want to thank you. Tony will take over from here. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we are glad. We are delighted to have you in here to grace the exit of our beloved and millennium mother, wife, auntie, and what have you. Distinguished Senator Gil Emeka Naji, we also appreciate your presence here to the glory of God. We also appreciate the presence of our Right Honorable Prince of Fort Chukwebo. Or to come by the ways of way. Or to come by the you're welcome, sir. I got you back, sir. Onune waka. Aina sege dalo. Ala kirumo wibu itata. Oye wa iko ziye gini ya. Owa igurubeze. The CEO of McDonald's. International. Anna Masin, then I drum security and civil defense corps. And now, with other security outfits, you're all welcome. God bless you. Aye, can I can no, 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 Ngini ne no maage ji shiga no do no wa ime mi je ke bo ma obure ekpere bi no na ekpe biko ai na na bata all the escorts all the stakeholders ni ne no here ai shuru ni ne no 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 barista ben wo ye in ha gba ri ke mbo ye ade yo no no ai ne ke ne di protocol ni ne unu na emete ko ji de ma bishop ahurunga no, I got an even an abatunu keji defa. Barista Stephen Aldoa, do you? In a more whom I can ever me get the Nankana and the Fumaya where all that he get? I say, no, Honorable Paul and Najor for no, Honorable Najor for Najor for your welcome, sir. Oh, no, no, you who are honorable Jane, I go the why? No, wow, my chairman. My subcommittee chairman, Anna Masigidalu, welcome. You're welcome, sir. And that is attorney, Dr. Ben Woye. You're welcome, sir. That's the subcommittee chairman on protocol. You're welcome, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you. 
Chief. It's a pleasure. Chief. Oyeneye Moto Njeja Abuja na Lagos free of charge. Honor here. Chief Oyemuche Namani, my beloved brother, you're welcome, sir. Anye Nugu. Anye Nugu. Anye PLC. The CEO of Autostars uh, Travel PLC. You're welcome, sir. God bless you, sir. We also appreciate the presence of uh, Bishop Ugo Wems. Bishop Ugo Wems, a very renowned uh, servant of God. You're welcome, sir. Oh, Koka Jinaba. My manest man, Afon Gyoyengem, Ezibom. Can Kenekwa Sinetor Otazi? Oh, no, yes. You're not like your outfit. Oh, no, Fumo, Gobam, can Jesse Net. Man, I will have a vote to them. So, but for the fact, I can never appreciate in Key. Sinetor Otazi, you're welcome, sir. Thank you. Oh, Boka Jina, but you're welcome, sir. We actually appreciate your presence. I know, Sigidalo. One night, Woke Otazi. Ogabaga, I say again, no, you're welcome, sir. And uh, Honorable Donatusani, Ononei, you are welcome, sir. And Honorable Barrister Innocent Obodo, I know, I know, I know, Honorable Barrister Ifai Woga, Ifai Woga, you're welcome, sir. A seasoned legal icon, I know, I no, you're welcome, sir. I usually can a doctor Sam Ungu, OG Parasitamor, a mogo, Unguan and a Texas, or no here, Ovu Medical Care, be here, that is the ambulance, no here, Adam, I'm a well, you can call your question hungry, I am a boss here, right on a level, I will know, as you won't matter. Please, uh, I personally appreciate the presence of a uh, Honorable Chief Sylvester Naji Odengenge Odengene PLC Everest Naji, please Odengene, you're welcome, sir. It's a pleasure having you in here, Captain Odengene. God bless you, sir. And then, Honorable Prince Emeka Ugu, the presence of Albino Association of Nigeria. You're welcome, sir. And that right honorable Emeka Ojam. I know singing no. You're welcome, sir. I eat your image because we cannot be for all parties, all political parties. Me bu PDP, me bu APC, me bu Labour, me bu PDAPC, me bu PDAPC, L P A C N A T T. Me bu A. Me bu Adan kanu political party. Me bu BP, ndoria BP jike bu party. Are you well canopy at the by the entrance? Beba mapo out imun entertain. Biko all political party. Move down there to get your thing. I from the woman leader, Enugu State. PDP woman leader and the entourage. Entourage, gento. Biko you bad manon. Yen and the woman leaders or the local government. I should not know. Ndi igwe ai kaneke ne kunu igwe ni ne no ben kana gbere ka bia here and make any my boss please my... Uh, ladies and gentlemen i uh, will personally appreciate the presence of uh, sorry sir we appreciate the presence of uh, ambassador fidelia njeze former minister of aviation god bless you ma you are welcome Major General Ugu, CO Ugu, retired. That's the Nigerian ambassador to Poland. Osoko, I know second now. One name, Madu, you're welcome, sir. Chief Everest Naji. Oh, there. Oh, then, then, no, here. With Indian, I need this. I say again, no. Can can I my own boss? Chief Chutz Naji. Oh, what you will be a medal, my dear, medal, my dear, second, my dear, medal, my dear, medal, my keys is not here. Papa, and the name of Papa, the CEO, Knight Holding Company, or not here. The CEO, Louis Oyo, as you bought my Nike motor, also, it is here in the motor, or never, not really watching. By the way, by the way, I make an ending in a Hana Sachiako has a way, but I know who Nanara. Ijego Orlando, Honorable Oyekachiowe, 
and there's so many others. The Honorable OKK, I should go in No. Please, I can ask you. Honorable Chiakoha, Chief. No. Chief, sir. Honorable Chiakoha, I can ask you. No. Odalije Osoko. Odalije, you're welcome, sir. We actually appreciate your presence here to the glory of God. I na si a zendi bona toki no. I na sige no I na kenegi. Honorable Engineer Mike Wachuku. I na sige dalo. Former Commissioner. I sige no. You're welcome, sir. And then Honorable Barrister Innocent Obodo. You're welcome, sir. Barrister Stephen Olulua. You're welcome. Ezibo Mado. Wow, Steve Aurora. I na kenegi. A legal icon. Honorable Barrister Steve Aurora. He came on as you there. Barrister, what is the Ugu? We recognize your presence. I in a Kenequa, the former mayor of Nkanu East, Pastor Iyogwe. Pastor Iyogwe, you're welcome, sir. I in a Kenequa, the former mayor of Enugu North, Honorable Mekede, Mayor of the Commissioner for Agriculture, in a Perium Rice every weekend. Imagine me a Meridia Paris of an order. Thank, you, thank you very much. God bless you. And then I now see Mate No. Mac Modern Motors PLC based in Lagos. You're welcome, sir. God bless you. And no. then uh, Lolo Salui Obodo. I now see No. Biandi Civil Defense. Uno Naeba. Na. Hey, your whole salute. The former mayor of Uncano East, Honorable Frank Wake, Frank and Yoma, sorry. Hey, man, Frank and Frank, but Frank is speaking. I na not sure, no. I ain't a my own brother, Honorable. Um, checking the FNF. Oh, man, no, 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 no. Sir Prince Joe, I ain't a connected guy, I and the suit community no here. Ebe Mama is on a one of the board. Han no here, the vice chancellor of a suit. Professor Aloysius Michael Okori. Jai Bia Kwan Yaka make her kuko. Make her and have her for mad. Bikokwa. The deputy vice chancellor, Professor Chike Waha. Obu kwa my former dino. Mbwen no mask come. No bune jim carry over 17 for Taman Hara Hayabu School. No mahamej. Yes, we appreciate the presence of all of you, please. The Provost, Esu College of Medicine, Professor Frank Ezugu, I see now. Esu to register. Hey, we, register. Okay. Okay. Chief Ambrose Ugu, hey, we the mother at all you get my admission. Never, I'm never a good ego. My governor, your email commissioner for a good ego. Esu Bossa, my agabo friend, the big cocky weekend, a year more go no. Dr. Austin Oje, you're welcome. The university librarian, Dr. Ifani Ezema, you're welcome, sir. All the ASUs, all the ASU communities, I na sure no, no. Honorable Barrister Jerry Ene, you have been working tirelessly here both yesterday and then I know still even beyond. I na sege dalo, I ne kenegi. And I ne kene, hope care. Honorable Dr. Sam Ngu. Sam Ngu, I na sege dalo. From Ngu Nkembo, na Texas. Ngu Nkembo, na Texas. Ibe Marezoku, you're welcome, sir. It's a pleasure having you in here. I na sege no. And then, uh, Honorable Mwabweze Namani. Mwabweze Namani, the former mayor of Nkanu West. Local government area. I na sege dalo, I ne kenegi. Ikoha, PLC. And then, uh, Aina Ganiru na na bata, omuwa ni ne no no wa nda danka na nda da chiese, omuwa PDP uyomuji omuada ndu woz na nda wuhar aishuru no ni ne no no. Please, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I know Cindy Hope care had a look. Henrich Computers. Henrich Hon Wokoma. Honorable Henry Okenwa, the former mayor of Nkano West. I see the no. Okwadike. 
Okwa DK, the Okwa DK Kie, the flag bearer of MPP, what in Katangi? NNPP. Wow. Here come PLC. Here come no mama and no 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 no. Dala, God bless you. I ne kene kwa honorable ness madaka alum mama ndibo. Mama di mama di bishop. I na sige dalo. You have been here. Welcome ma. Oko you bo biye nki oran sisun. Ama akwa mi interesu. Oh no no wa ke mbiye no wa meri. Obada bago obada bada. Mama ena ashi ude yo. Honorable Chief John Ebo, you are welcome, sir. I now say again, no. He's That's sheriff. the secretary, secretary general of the planning committee. He's Nyana, right. Nyana, my chairman, distinguished senator Ben Collins Ndo. His royal highness, Igwe Greg Ugu Ochina Wata, there you go. Kishi Emeka Dekakwara, there you go. Boka Jinaba. Ezibo mado, aina ekenegi. Ai kana gakwa ni huna na batandi ozo. All the protocols who appreciate your presence. Obo na yakbo befa, iwe ya do kwoku. Kenkene my special mother, the koness, the former wobodo, the former the niru, the first computer training nungwe lene no wa. But your initiative, bunji wete, there you my mommy. Oh, Boka Jinaba. Honorable Barrister, if I in Waga, I na second no. A season the legal icon. You're welcome, sir. God bless you. And I na Agwazukuno na Deputy Sheriff, and that is Honorable Chief Johnny Ebo. Wow, John Ebo bag. Agwamechi, I na say adalo. I na Kenya. I come now, Sukwa Prof. Steve Oba, no. Former Nigerian ambassador to Russia. You're welcome, sir. And then uh, Dr. Sam Obu Wobudu. And I'm again, no. Former Honorable Commissioner for Commerce and Industry here in Enugu State. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Oboka Jinaba. And I make an egg walk on my You did it again in the last night, and I do have when I say get out. Honorable Paul Naji, I na singing no. The Naji is here. Senator Gilbert Naji, Honorable Cornelius Naji, I make a no noncha. I still don't know. His Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, His Royal Highness. Igwe Doctor Barista Igwesi O Igwesi Eze Obuofia Eze Omoha Eze Omoha, you're welcome, sir. We actually appreciate your presence here with other traditional rulers. The, you're welcome, sir. The Chief Fire Officer of Enugu State, honor here. Oha. Uh -huh. Engineer Okudiri Oha. Oha. Also, we are a lot of a year. A mammy and those are a man. A year. Namako Namaka in a canegi for your wonderful work. Namako Rentals, the peace ambassador. I know Segedalo. I know Kenega of Fuma. Even on your donation, donation of a uh, empty Namako. Donation of uh, empty canopies. You are welcome, sir. Oh, Hanez and the way no good south. So far, not here. Ably led by Honorable Mugu. Hey, Duru, you are welcome, sir. I shall know. Hey, Duru, I know can I get a second. I don't want to come. And then, Mr. Charles Onyeka, you are welcome, sir. Honorable Prince Tony Wonye, the CEO. The CEO of Royal Palace Hotel, Pastor Sunday, Ede. Eha. Ogbuchifu. Ogbuchifu, you are welcome, sir. It's a pleasure having you in here. 
God bless you. Cheers, so Iro Ngozi Khan. You are welcome, sir. You are welcome, ma'am. Makama me bobari, sir. Why can't you say welcome, sir? God bless you, ma'am. Mr. Chijoke, oh, you're welcome. And then uh, Herbert. Wow. Herbert Shangaya. We appreciate you. Miss <laughs> Mrs. Ifama Onobogo. I know second now. Julian Osuala. Yeah. Julian Osuala, you're welcome, sir. It's a pleasure having you in here. Honorable Nki Ugochuku. I know second now. If I. Wow. If I in so. In so if I in so you're welcome. You're welcome. God bless you. And then. Tokon Kwa Abeji. Tokon Kwa Abeji, you're welcome. And then Juliana Osola, you're welcome. Second time. And then Barista Blessing Azobo. Aina Sekedalo, we actually appreciate your presence. And then Iyam Niki This way, you are welcome. God bless you. Professor Nathaniel Aneku, Aine Kenege Asegedalu, you are welcome. And then Ambassador Namdi Iyekwe, we appreciate you. Dr. Sam Amadi, it's a pleasure. And Dr. Belo Salihu, you are welcome, sir. God bless you. Bazuagu make a bazuagu. G and G. G and G and make an ego for my work on my. You're welcome, sir. It's a pleasure. I'm not going to go on now, but I'm not going to go for my. I say, no. A big kind of say, honorable Chine do. A lumona. Chine do a lumona. You're welcome, sir. And Dr. Oliver Wankwa. Dr. Oliver Wankwa, you're welcome, sir. And then Declan Okbaleke. God bless you. And then Prince Nkechi. Njoko or Moju. Now, wow. God bless you. And then uh, Sir Sink. Mwaju. You're welcome. Dr. Zim Ako. Dr. Zim Ako, you're welcome, sir. Dr. Zima Kozimala, God bless you. C.P. Lawrence Alobi, I stand at attention here, sir. God bless you, sir. Retired. But not CP, tired. But not yet tired. Alobi, Lawrence, you are welcome, sir. Aja, Stephen, Chibuike, you are welcome, sir. And then Chief. Chief Udema Konam John, you're welcome. SCP Ekanem. Ekanem. This is PC. SCP Ekanem Osan. You're welcome, sir. And then uh, Senator Mohamoida Sanusi. We actually appreciate your presence. Antonia. Antonia Wanani, it's a pleasure having you in here. Mr. Sunday, Chi Adi, Aine Kenegi. And then, wow, Senator Roger Sokorocha. Oh, well, oh, well, you're welcome, sir. And it's a pleasure. And then, Honorable Anthony Ogochuku, you're welcome, sir. Aliu, E.D. Hung, it's a pleasure. And Iken Charity. God bless you. O Kitty. O Kitty, I know. Say No. Ezibo Mado. Honorable Mrs. Ngozi Ugu, the wife of our son, late son, son Dugu, 
The, cha- the former chairperson of Enugu South. First lady, first lady, I ain't not second dialogue. God bless I you, I no. Honorable Kamun Namani, no. Honorable Sam Gene, we appreciate your presence. Alongside my brother, Duke Wafo, no, no. Chief Andiebo, the PG Obego Kanano, I see again, no. Ewendi Kuni, Ndi Chie, na Bogote. Obune Webane, my presentation, Sime Kaimalo, Honorable Mondene, I see you know. Oh, General, why are you welcome, sir? I'm being on no jacket, I'm going to make a man of where. I'm going to go on the Kuma Kaya. I'm not seeing the match, you don't know. Have a woman at I am from the match, or can I not the match, you don't know. Oh, Hanes and the one at you will all check it out. Hey, you do. Oh, I do for when I am. I know can end the Ariwa group. Ariwa, you're welcome. I know you can end the Machi Dodon and Ariwa. I have done a stand there by the Bulunia. I hear the three minutes. Kandewa Luteba, Makemonia Necha. God bless you. The former chief of staff of Enugu State, Dr. Festu Suzo. You are here, sir. Ezibo Mado. No. First, I know Kenegi. You're welcome, sir. I say get the Alu Mokoma. You're welcome. First, I say get the Alu Mokoma. You're welcome. God bless you. Please, Honorable Chidionia, the SSG to a Nugu state. Once more, I know Sega Dalu, I know Kenegi. And Honorable John Ebo, Akata, Akata, you're welcome, sir. God bless you. I get well belly interlude so that not and the oh, Hanes and Debo, Nandins and also I make a new no high motos, high sinner motos, Nandio Tiai can alone. What were you all done? Now, how are you? But they were welcome. You're welcome, sir. But it's a mecca as. Barista Mecca Sogwa, you're welcome, sir. It's a pleasure. A legal icon. God bless you. And then, Ipe Marejo Kwa Inde Kenega Segedalo. Honorable Linda Nona, the President Widows Association. I forget, no, why, Oma? Uno Bundu Uye Jesus. Chief Emeko Kwa Inde Kenega Segedalo. God bless you. DG Nema. I can help all the diasporas. Amaruchazu. My own personal DG person. Nema. DG Nema, you are welcome. God bless you. Amaruchazu. You are welcome. I actually can the members of APC in Nugu State. Comrade ACU Day, our able chairman. Comrade Tony Arum, the proper secretary. Also, Joe Guoko, our leader. Lola Queen, Wangwa, the woman leader. Tupac Ezenwa, the youth leader. Chief Emeke Ede, Hilary Ede, Hilary No, Basi, Basil, we appreciate your presence. Okay, Chubuo Bonna. Engineer Simeon, no me, I can alone no. Honorable Obi no can what day you? A legal icon and a lecturer. Honorable mm. Barrister Obi no can what you are welcome, sir. God bless you. All our Buja connect. I know as you no nine no. The nine she Buja webia. We appreciate your presence. No. On Malue Fiola, I know can they get us again? No. On Malue Fiola, of Ibo land. God bless you, sir. Ese Obo Kanaba. Lopez Oyo, I forget, Honorable Paul Naji. 
We appreciate your presence. The energies. Right on, Honorable Abu. I can agree. Hey. Chief and Lolo Chinelo Mobodo. I know Sigidalo. And then Professor Gertrude Okenwa. A suit. You're welcome. Ambassador Godiabo and Lolia. Uno neba sin sine yela kana hazina bazi. Chine meze of Enugu State. We appreciate. I know Sigidalo. Former Nigerian ambassador to Japan, you are welcome, sir. Honorable Oyinugu, the former member of Enugu State House of Assembly representing Enugu Sarura. That's my mom. Wow. Nenu, my mother. Engineer Dr. Chenwa Nebye Mojam. Nebye Mo, no. Ejibo, my mom. Nebye Mo, no. 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 Nebye Mo, Uye ugu jam let I na sege dalo. That's my father. Ena akba ena a share professor. Let professor. The only boma na kuchigun English no bodo beke. Oh yes, Knoxford University. Yes, sir. oh my father, oh my father. The only Igbo man or Nigerian man who taught English people English. Commissioner Jenebo, imi bo wane mpam. So we are talking about my father now. A big guy that can know an essay. I know somebody in the Teleba and Nono. Nika Suzabia, I know Suno Dalla. Very soon, very soon, I got Gune Baganabia for condolence visits. By that particular time, on what gave you together? Because the committee of friends in Coburn in the charge, because Obulu. The farm fresh. Honorable barrister, if I walk, I'm going to make a nigga of my work on my. God very, bless you, sir. Very soon, I got a rapper, I call a book, I will put you yes, the so. talk and the speech and the preaching. Go ahead, go ahead. I have in a cousin, so I could have good idea. Go ahead. Macon FF. As in the book. Na toki. Ezendibo. Ezendibo na toki. Ana masege da lo di presido. Afa me choko na no. Presido, presido zienu hozi. Presido zienu hozi biko nu. Ana ma yoge. Ezendibo na toki. The present general. Amech Development Union. You are welcome sir. God bless you. Morning from Esu to Makana, Esu to Sonia, Nemene, Kwanoa, Ibiara, the former acting vice chancellor of Esu, Professor Charles Eze. Oh, you should get up one quick where Mish can graduate any gay more. I graduate with a noble major resort of Fota, Manche, you come here more. Or she among graduate you with a resort, you should have one graduate you, Nagay more. The former vice chancellor of ASU, Professor Luke O. Anike, I should know. Mem go ahead, go ahead. Member ASU Governing Council, Professor Felix Asogwa, you're welcome, sir. Member ASU Government Council, Dr. Peter Wankwa, no. Professor Chinedo Igwenage, no. Honestly, I will go from Abuja, Ebele. I know, Sigidalo. Fire. Ice water, ice water. As I'm not feeling so good, Jenna Wanyo. Yana Monday and Monday never Jenna Wanyo. Honorable Emeka Ojam, right? Honorable Emeka Ojam, you're welcome, sir. The Dean of Management Sciences, Professor Chioma. My mommy in a school. We welcome, sir. Ma, I say again, no. Ladies and gentlemen, High Chief Barrister Eugene Ene. Ana masiye no, alose na abodo. Ana meke negi woko ama, alose, oke mo, oke mado, alose na abodo. Aina sege no, biko na ana masiye, barista mwaga, biko nuziye hozi. Biko in, oke obodo, we appreciate you. Ezubo, the triple commissioner, you are welcome sir. 
And that is Honorable Deacon O.K. Obodo. Dr. Salihu Bello, former chief of staff to distinguished Senator Ken Namani. I, we actually appreciate your presence here. And then uh, Dr. Enukoro Joe Okoli. You are welcome, sir. Former chief management consultant to our distinguished Senator Ken Namani. Honorable Pastor Beloved Dan, I see again no. Honorable Victor Nam, the former commissioner for land, you're welcome, sir. Victor Namande, can I go with you? I know second no, welcome. I said again, Dalo. God bless you, sir. And then Chief Robert Shayan. Shumoko. Chief Herbert Shayan. All the way from Washington, you are welcome, sir. It's a pleasure. Ezumo Krobi Anna Mekenegi. And then a Papa Kanokweba and all Kanajia, Papandia Nugu State, ladies and gentlemen, a former governor of the old Anambra State, the former, and then senator. A former senator. Former For, minister. Former honorable minister for youth and sports. GSM. Wow. G. G. Honorable Victor Nam. Beloved. Nkara. Osoko. Oyengai. Igu. I didn't see you again. Nonso. Na wow. Ndona na togo na kari kwa rando no he na kogo. I make a known international no bika gayayi obelin salute. Kai wello wet up more names. Oh, what bugs I make a chief king. If a bueme, God bless you because I am you. He jem mili and yan you. Oh, zom mili now zonko fana bata no bo. Oh, zom mili. Okay, the chief me. protocol, honorable Ima, honorable Ima, in a canegi, we're done. Who's on me? Right foods. Can I look who's on? I can end the right foods uh, limited producer of a uh, big, col big, cola, big water, fearless, fearless, and energy drink. God bless you. Chief and Debo. I can again. Echeribe, you are welcome, sir. The present general of the Great Uprising Social Club of Nigeria. Kilo. Echeribe. Ah ah. Ah ah. Odoku. In a gaffa gaffa, the prince. The prince, Pri I say again, no. Prince, when you are. His Royal Highness, he gwe. The patron of a French initiative for Pitamba, he's here. Igwe, Igwe, food, Udia, Valbo, Maran, cause of Mama, and I can't move up with the form. No, someone I can't get your way. I want to remember you're welcome, sir. I so much appreciate your presence. God bless you, sir. Oh, yeah, cause of because I go with you, Rosa. And I go with you, Rosa, on the time you get you. Hi, you're welcome, sir. God bless you. God Mom, bless you, sir. Mommy, feel there like you. You're going to say, you're going to Few men. Few men. My principal back then in secondary school. He's here. Honorable Diamond Odozio Bodo, the former SSA, I mean the former SA to former governor of Enugu State, the former former, former meets former. Odozio Bodo, no. President Esut SUG, no, here. Comrade Donatus, 
Donor for all and comrade need. Ekete. Chief Protocol, a suit SUG, India suit, fan chapel, I can wear beer here. Macamomi, I saw me fan name, eh? India suit, so darling, I ain't a canoe. India suit, I see London, no. Fidem Jays, I ain't a second darling. God bless you, sir. Very soon you will start here, you will start hearing a, a high life tune that will dissolve any rumbles in your body. Oh, she can eh? Okay, now the hair and I gave you the chew. Adam, I may whatever, but I'm not going to need a bonnet. I got a year taboo. Where's the half? Where's the half day, yo? In a body ever came by one or one year. I do mean day, yo. For more than one week. Where's the half of your welcome, sir? Barista Stephen Ololoa, can I let me get there? I've become a manioka. Barista Steve Ololoa. Can I let me get there, Nankano? Thank, yeah. thank uh, you, sir. Uh huh. Uh huh. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Be on the committee of friends. I pay a check when you are born. I keep everybody if you want to see Luya. Major General retired. I ain't a second dollar. That's Nigerian ambassador to Poland. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. Nigerian ambassador to Poland. Oh, Hamadi Kendibo. Oh, Kosisi Adezo now here. Oh, Hamadike, the distinguished senator, Dr. Victor Ume, no doziak here. Oh, Hamadai. Oh, Hamadike, I sing him memo your chief protocol. Ghana has in our wazi. Oh, Hamadai. Oh, Hamadike, you welcome, sir. Give me a tomato juice again. Madam, I'm not saying that. Lolo, Lolo. God bless you, ma. I need all the distinguished senators, all the House of Representative members are not here. Distinguished senators, His Excellencies, Right Honorables, Traditional Rulers. Kaine kene nda da chieze, kaine kene nda da work. All the companies of industry. And there that she is in or here, and there that work, no qua here. Honorable Frank and Nyoma. Frank and Nyoma, I make an egg. One name, Madu, you're welcome, sir. 
Dr. Oliver Okwo. The able doctor will have yeah, in Parkland Hospital. I say again now. Hello, South Church. Then I not see nine can end that work. I do work none. Hello, South Church. I do work can. They are young. And that's it. I not suppose you know that. And that's it. The anointed David. Wow. What a young child in a man came to Baburuburu Nibolan. And that is an honorable. Sam Okechuku Ngene. The anointed David. Wow. I should have known. What do you make in a Ghana Masaka Dalu Mokoma? I like him to go to Bocha to God who made me. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Oh, good. A brick. A brick and make it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I'm a sheep. You may be good. Muna number gets up. Oh, Jimba. Oh, Jimba, you're welcome, sir. And then Sonebo, Sonebo, you're welcome, sir. God bless you. Sunday, boy, you're welcome, sir. God bless you. Wow, my own man, manless man. Okay, PLC. I'm not welcome. This is a Nugu State uh, cultural troop. A Nugu State cultural troop. I na see no dollar. My own lovely sister not here. Mrs. Ejidago. Unye government picking. Original madam. Original madam, you're welcome, Ezibowai. I'm again at you, me by bundle. I told me they stop, but yeah, you know, we can so commanders. If you are ready, you give us signal. Oh, go no, yeah, by your no guys. So you can I get by a fool. And rich computers, I know can I get a second dollar from a mayor of Ankanu West, honorable engineer Mike Wachuku. You're welcome, sir. Mike Wajag, honorable. Engineer Mike Wachuku, you're welcome, sir. Get that tomato juice again. Sir yeah. Mike Wachuku, you're welcome. You're welcome. She's not done, can you make it? I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. My own, I'm kidding. Thank you. Anya PLC. Anya Enugu. The CEO of Autostar Travels PLC. I'm not saying it all. Welcome. What can you a you walk in by you? I not singing no. You're welcome, sir. You've been walking tirelessly since uh, Madame Ayuora. I know Kenegi, and that is uh, Honorable Chief Barrister Onye Muche Namani, former SLG to a new state. You're welcome, sir. God bless you. Aya PLC. What well done, Dozo? Chief Anike Waga.
Chief Everest Naji, Captain Everest Naji, Odengene, 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 Odengene,
Yeah. Uh-huh. Chief John Edeji, you are welcome, sir. Johnny Edeji. Wow, you're welcome, sir. God bless you. Chibudi, you're welcome, sir. Ah, Commissioner Boy, you're welcome, sir. It's a pleasure. God bless you, sir. God bless you. No, no one named Madu. God bless you, sir.
Commander's band, Olaga PLC. This is uh, Commander's band, ladies and gentlemen. High life we have occur, occur. Honorable Papa Munati, O Kitty Baba, O Kitty Dinamakan at Bawaja.
Ghana man, I know Janet Chief Sunday, Sunday, Mabi, Sunday, I know second, no. And then, Honorable Chief Anika Wonga. Oh, Ivana, yes, sir. Anika Wonga. Yes, sir. 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 Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Sebastian. Adan Kano, no, no. MC. Oh, you see, I can find my boom here. Mobona, I control the VIP. Okay, the seven days, you're going to VIP. Okay, I walk away. And this security, because you're not going to be able to get a good job. And this security, I know you're going to be able to get a good job. Thank you. 
If I kill you somewhere, I'm walking with a girl. If I kill you somewhere, even Pali as a boy. If I kill you somewhere, if I kill you somewhere, even Pali as a boy. If I kill you somewhere, even Pali as a boy. If I get 
Ifele mate mi budomo Ifele kiri asa budoyo Ifele kiri asa budoyo Ifele kwari asa budoyo Ifele kiri asa budoyo Ifele kwari asa budoyo yo yo Ewe afa mi fa Mama ye ye afa mi fa Ime kucham ibo nyema if I get a subway, a banamat, a bogomo, if I get a subway, a sudo, a very ego, if I get a subway, a sudo, a bony, bony, ma, if I get a subway, a nepuna, a very ego, if I get a subway, a sabaka, a bony, ma, if I get a subway, father, father, a bony, ma. If I kill ya sabuye yo, ebe le mati me bogo mo. If I kill ya sabuye yo, sabuye yo. MC, MC. I don't know. I get to see you with Bobo. I bet. Jerry and Ed. You see, I got a bad.
Francis Gayou, Francis Gayou, and I'm a boy, I'm a boy, I'm a boy, Francis Gayou, I'm a boy, I'm a boy, this is a caravan. Give me bottom belly to lose my heart. Baby, give me bottom 
I'm a good in my anime. I'm a good in my anime. You're my anime. I can't get me. You're very far away. You're my anime. I'm a good in my anime. You're my anime. I'm a good in my anime. I'm a good in my anime.
Senator Oke is here. Onya ije mano. Idi anima. Amba si kwamba so nyama jeje. Amba si kwamba so jogu jeje. Anaba ko. Ane de. Ane ti. Ane we. Bola ke bole go. Federal Republic of Nigeria, former ambassador of Nigeria to Swiss. Onya mi ne jeje, obodo yibo. Onye zina baye, ina taki kuda. Akwa pati jebeje, diko lo tepa. Oh, 
Africa, what's the corner of the world? What's the corner of the world? No, I am not going to be a good person. I'm not Makanocha <laughs> You can put your money 
Excellency Peter Obi, you are welcome, sir. His Excellency Peter Obi, you are welcome, sir. God bless you. You are welcome. You are wonderfully welcome to this particular wonderful and unique arena. His Excellency Peter Obi, you are welcome, sir. Wow. MC. Ifugo, he has political popularity. Ade egu ego, aburi ife ego, aburi ife ego. Ibulu politician, we turn he go eje ego ego to popularity. Fa fa fa. Koyaba Peter Obi, Peter Obi. Special announcement. Ndini na jikosta bosubia. 
Jenu na bossa anwa. Maka driver na chepo. Pilot na chepo. Ndini na ji Costa bus. All the people that came here with Costa bus, please, can you just go there? Because the pilot wants to move out. God bless you. God bless you as you do that. Hello. I can ask one of Peter B. Nine Kenya. Lady Bianca. I want to. Ojuku, I na swagged the Allah Adam Madu. Adam Madu, you're welcome. God bless you. The Enugu State Publicity Secretary Charles Soloako of our progressive yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Congress, I see again, no. Victor Nam, no. Yeah. Victor yeah, Nam, you are welcome, sir. Yeah. Ugwe Jag, Manununa Tanya Kuti, Amuroyana, you are welcome, sir. Yeah. yeah. Amuroyana Cash, walk on my. Hello. I know, Sagadalo. Hello. Hello. Victor Nam, Ugwe Jag. Hello. Yeah, hello. I know Kennedy. Hello, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, hello. Um, where do you walk in my saloon? No, Chief Mrs. Ungas Yokoro. Presentation is still on. And I know so and there's a dollar. Give me a. Oh, you know, come on. Give me a. Samuel, oh, you're not getting good enough. What's the kind of work at the other? So the boy is the one who 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 is the one Mamma, I Hello. 
Madonna. Madonna's Global. God bless you. Thank you, my man. I'm a mama zero, don't get me. Okay, Muzero, we are not for me. If I win, I go for no more, no food. As a man, I do. All I get to book, oh, go, go. All I get to book, oh, go, go. I'm a mommy, no children, no people, I go. Anaba, Anaba, Anaba. Mama, I'm a laga. Oma sempe, ofu, isoche galalo. Ezo aboka gike buna basi panuli. Ezo aboka na ba biake nuli. Ibya bunye do kwano mo. Ufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufufuf
And for that elegant look, always say, Matador. Yes,
If I didn't make any na ya no lisa. Number one, 
Ina bonu makadi mana na kwa ya so ne ma vole ezo boka ye matado matado ezo boka ya gazi ezo boka chanya manda chanya manda on B flat ezo boka chanya manda katosha chuja manda ah.
Pastor, are you there? Oh, my God. 
I salute you. Please, this is a special request by the patron of commanders by those who go matter now. I is the chairman of planning committee of this barrier. Senator Bekali Sento. Well done, job. Dalusa. Email of Uma. Going great, just smart. And for that elegant look, Always say, Matador. Ana la chaka. Ana la chaka. Find out 
And the rest in the Chuka Canine. You ram up a little Chuka and only make an egg or work at him. Look, Sissy.
Oh, no, 
Let's go. 
Ime si godi mane no va na mu kule chayi. Ime si godi njano va amu kule chayi. Ima si godi akonko va amu kule chayi. Ida si godi obunya no va amu kule chayi. Maka na mu guba onya bona jiji. Iwo bona kapo ya po. Maka na mu guba madu bona jiji. Ibu bona kapo ya po. Yesi, yesi mukama. This is a guy is a mother. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Let's go, 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 go. Is it one more? Collins. Azone di balobo.
Oh, good day. 